and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another NECA Last Ronin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the first to fall Raphael but for all your first to fall Raphael needs and a whole lot more head on over to Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And I believe I did get this from Walmart. Seems like Walmart and the NECA store are shipping these out first. Eventually, you'll see these in Targets, Entertainment Earths, Big Bad Toy Stores, all the usual places. But Walmart kind of the first there with their uh, toy event they did have in the month of March. And we're getting overloaded with Ninja Turtle stuff here. We got the Target Holothon shipping about $700 worth of turtle stuff. No big deal. This is $700 bucks just for the casual collectors out there. And then you got all these ones from that Walmart con. A lot going on. Then you throw Donatello's lab on top of there. Not sure exactly what NECA's doing, putting all that stuff out at once. Uh, couldn't you split that up a little bit better? Uh, just, I can't understand it, can't fathom it. But at the end of the day, you don't have to get it all. And there's not everybody that collects everything as well. So it is really choose your own turtles adventure at the end of the day. And one adventure we're going to do is like we do all the other adventures on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And the last Ronin, coming in extra hot. Of course, this one, Raphael, the first to fall. Poor Raphael, the first to fall. Truly the first turtle to die. Can you believe it? Oh, I can't believe it. I just can't. The last Ronin at the top right there, falling down like uh, me falling down the stairs. Oh, it happens way too much. I, should, I just need to be more careful when I'm running down those stairs or jumping and hopping. We've all been there. We've all been there. Uh, we got him on the side looking a little gory, looking a little gory. Raphael first to fall. I got that classic last Ronin shot right there with the sun in the background. On the back, got a little blurb down low. Got a few glamour shots here. Just a sad one. This is a sad figure here. Who is the last Ronin? In a future battle ravaged New York City, a lone surviving turtle embarks on a seemingly hopeless mission, seeking justice for the family he lost. From legendary TMT creators Eastman and Laird, get ready for the final story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three decades in the making. What terrible events destroyed his family and left New York a crumbling post-apocalyptic nightmare? All will be revealed in this climatic turtle tale that sees longtime friends become enemies. New allies emerging in the most unexpected places. Can the surviving turtle triumph? I think most people know the turtle by now. I have read the story, so I know who it is, of course. We talked about it on the channel. But looking good here as far as uh, the action shots. Then you got uh, old uh, Raphael in the package looking good. A little glamour shot over there as well. A lot going on in the packaging for this one. Of course, he's falling back down. And hopefully Rancid will help him get back up again. Shout out to Lars Fredrickson, good friend of the channel. There it is, old Raph, looking only like a Raph could look if he fell down. And there you go. But I'm going to take this offline, get all these twist ties out, and we'll be back talking all things Raphael. <clears throat> all right, let's get down to business. Not monkey business, not turtle business, funeral business. We're going to get the funeral arrangements here for old Raphael. But first, let's go through the accessories. I guess we'll start with the hands. How about... What do we got here? Two fists, a turtle fury. He's got them fists balled up. He's down. He's been hurt. He's bleeding out. He's like, I still got my fist. I got one more round in me. And then they put like the final bullet in his head. And that's it. Or the arrow in this case. And that's eh, a tough life. Tough life for a turtle. It's not easy being green. I heard that long ago. Maybe it was the Hulk. Maybe it was Kermit the Frog. Not real sure. But we do got two Haya Karate Chop hands here. It's really good for a turtle to have those, of course. Then we got two open hands here, like he's going to shake somebody's hand or he's going to reach out and say, please, don't kill me. Who knows? And then we got two gripping hands, weapon hands there. Got to have those with any turtle. So we got all the hands that you need for any hand adventure. Now we're going to get into a few other things here, I guess. How about the iconic size? Raphael's always got to have his size. Looking a little different than your normal ones. We got the three-pronged crown going, look, looking really nice. You got the brown wrappings throughout. Not a bad day. Not a bad day right there. We'll see how that goes. Then we get that pizza dagger. That's what I always call it. It looks like a slice of pizza, but it's a dagger. You can pull it out of the pizza box. You know, if you're like uh, held at gunpoint by some mobsters or something, you got that pizza box right there. He's like, hey, I'll do whatever you want. I just need to get this slice of pizza. And you lift up the box, yank it out, and bam, right in their throat. That's what you would do. That's what Raphael would do, I'm sure. But we do get that one there. 
Now we get all kinds of arrows, but we do get one arrow that is red. And I'm going to say this is the death arrow. This is the one that did him in right here, the all red. And I'm going to say it's dripping in blood. That's what it is. Rain and blood like a young slayer. Shout out to Tom and Carrie. And I guess uh, Gary Holt. Uh, Gary Holt and Paul Bostoff these days. Uh, Jeff Hanneman. Dave Lombardo. Uh, whoever you want to have in your favorite version of Slayer. Uh, but then we do get all the arrows, and this is where the good times end. Of course, many arrows come with this one. It looks like three, six, seven, eight. I can count. Yes, I can. You got eight arrows here. You got the little feathers on the end. You got the little steel blade. A little bit of blood going on all these. So definitely a sad state of affairs, and we'll talk about where these go here in a second. But let's dive into old Raphael. Let's look at the head sculpts first. First head sculpt out of the package here. Very round head. Of course, you got the bandana around there in red. You got the white eyes. He's got blood all over him. Blood caked on here, the lips. He's been through rounds of fighting. He's fighting for his life and unfortunately failing in this case here. Always sad when your favorites die. I'll never forget that Transformers movie uh, when I was a kid. I just couldn't believe it. I wasn't so worked up about Optimus Prime dying. I mean, it was definitely sad. It was that part in the ship at first when like Megatron and them just like blow everybody away. And you're like, holy cow. But then those guys do come back later on. But I was blown away by that. Uh, but it did make me uh, even tear up a little bit. I saw like the 25th and the was it the 35th anniversary in the in the theaters. I went to that with my kids, and I, I put a little tear out. I put a little tear out. It was a traumatic thing for a little kid, of course. And I'm sure it would be very traumatic if in the old Playmates days, the old cartoon, if one of these turtles died, there'd be kids jumping off bridges left and right. They'd be like, "Oh, my turtles are dead. I don't know what's going on." Anyways, plain Jane head here, stoic, gritting the teeth. He's gritting and bearing it is what he's doing right there. Uh, and that's what my wife does around me. She just grits and bears it, I think. Who knows? Uh, but then we do get the second head here, and I like this one. This is like, hey, I'm going down, but I'm not going down without a fight. I got my mouth open. I got my war cry going on. I'm going to give them uh, everything I got until I can't give them anything else. And that's what this head represents. Once again, blood all over him. Do love the blood going on. You do got the bandana on the back. It is movable side to side, back and forth, all that kind of stuff. So you can move that around however you do see fit. So two good head sculpts on this one, I do feel. Now, of course, arm's going to go all the way around in the rotation department. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbow. Yes, we do. Hands back and forth, side to side. Fist of Fury, as we mentioned. No waste on this turtle, no nothing. You do get the head removable, up, down, side to side, all kinds of movement out of that head. Leg does go up. You got those big old turtle soup splits if you need them. Leg goes up there. Bend at the knee. Double joint and knee. How about that? Boot cut. No boot cut, but you do get side to side at the knee. Ankles back and forth, up and down. You do got a hole in the foot. Will he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%, as I always do say. Fits perfectly on there. He's got a hole in the back of his heel almost as far back as it could possibly be but he does fit on there now diving into the character you got the big old protective vest i guess it didn't protect him enough and that goes all the way around there pockets all over the place in there he's ready to go he's got a shoulder guard up here uh, he's got a protector in the back you can put his size in the back on the back of his shell he's got a little shell protector as well looking good he's got two knee pads on got the wrappings around the feet you got the two toes sticking out like a true ninja turtle it's weird how the turtle's got three fingers but only two toes what's up with that what's up with that uh but then of course blood throughout this is truly a bloody figure this is like the jack's classic superstars cheap plug for my book uh terry funk figure from back in the day he's all bloody he's messed up he's got blood on his arms his thighs his feet his hands everywhere he's been uh, through his paces there's no doubt about it and how did he get there well through those arrows as we did talk about and one thing is you just kind of got to look it's almost like an easter egg hunt no offense or uh, no coincidence i should say as i'm filming this on easter so there you go uh, but we do have a little hole right there in the foot. Uh, I guess not the foot, the shin, the old Terry Steinbach shin guard. Got it right there in the shin. And then we got multiple holes throughout the back. So we got tons. And I wonder if this one goes right here, possibly. I think this one probably goes right here. And I think this maybe demonstrates that it went through him, maybe. Could that be the possible thing? Oh, yeah. Look at me figuring out my toys. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that went right through his leg. So whew, I'm sure that's the one that started. You're like, oh my gosh, you're surprised. You take a knee and then bam, you just get messed up from there. But that's where this one went. I was wondering how this worked, but that goes right through the body, right there through the shin. A dangerous day right there for old uh, Raph. Unfortunate turn of events, no doubt about it. Uh, but then on the back, that's where we got the spots. We got two in the middle of the shell and you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, right there so you got six different holes in the back and then you just grab any of these arrows and you just slide them in and then they're just sticking right in the figure here just uh one of the most painful things here he's got a turtle shell it should have protected him a little bit 
but not enough. But these all do plug into this one. Now, you don't have to plug these in if you don't want to, but what this represents, I feel like you have to. You have to have him like down on your shelf, like in a position where he's just all messed up and beat up. It's a sad state of affairs, but it must be done. It must be done. But that's what all those do there. So an interesting figure, an interesting figure. Uh, I really do enjoy this one a whole lot. We've got a lot of turtles. And the last Ronin line is hit and miss with some of the characters. The turtles seem to be hits for me. Some of the ancillary stuff maybe misses so far. we got more to unbox on the channel, so stay tuned for those. But I really do like this one just because I love a bloody figure. And I love what it represents. And I love all the extras that are with this one, putting the arrows in him. It's just something different out of the norm, especially for a turtles line. It feels really fun. And guess what? I'm here for it. And uh, I'm going to do... Uh, <clears throat> and guess what? I'm here for it. So there you go. But Raphael looking good first to fall. But what are your thoughts on this first to fall? Is this a pickup for you? Is it a pass? Is it a confused long game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon, including early access to both YouTube channel videos, giveaways, Q&As, pizza reviews, dog stuff, figure photography, you name it, it's all over there on the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you support the work of this YouTube channel. You can also support channelpresentees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget my book, hardcover exclusive, Barnes & Noble, The Cleat Guide to the Jack's Class Superstar Series. Soft cover, recommend picking up over there on Amazon for sale right now. Go grab your copy. And of course, if you want an autographed copy for whatever reason, hit me up, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So we fall back down once again with Raphael. Till next time, see you guys all real soon.